Good morning, everybody. Let me see if I'm live. Let's see if I am live. Yes, I am. Good morning. I see one set of eyes. Good morning, Mackenzie. How are you? Let me just share the video and then start. Uh, the show. Sharing the group. Good morning. Okay, let me see. Because I cannot do it before I start the video. I don't know why, but I guess I have to do it now. Okay. I am glad that you're here. Good morning, Elise. Happy belated birthday. Oh, look at my face. I better just not... <laughs> Sure. Okay, so uh, because I don't have any other devices that I can just plug it in here or just put it on, I just want to uh, start my videos in the morning saying hi, showing my face, my tired face. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that everybody is here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, and thank you for joining in. And uh, before I start stamping and going on, um, showing you what I have ready for you, I just wanted to, uh, for those that are new or those that have never been into my studio, I just wanted to get you um, in a little quick um, tour of what's going on in here because uh, some of you know that um, this coming Saturday, finally, we're able to get together for one day retreat. So I am in the middle of prepping stuff stuff that I design, stuff that I still need to design. As you know me, I like to do the things, things at the last minute. So if I, I'm going to walk around, you can see the back of my studio there, studio. This is where the mess is, but I, let me just flip around so you can see a, a little bit. Hopefully I will not show you anything that is, that I cannot show because I want to, you know, surprise everybody, but yeah. So this is where I have, that's where I create, uh, where I have all my mess. Uh, as you can see, very, a lot, a lot of stuff. And then from here, that's where I do my video. You see my things over there, my computer, so you can see my face. And then we walk into uh, the area where I usually hold my classes, but obviously since the, one was beginning of March or end of February. This studio has been empty, so it's only for, for me right now. As you can see, you guys are going to get an, a little sneak peek, but uh, not showing too much quickly. But this is all stuff, a bunch of stuff prepped there, a bunch of stuff that is going on over there. And, oh, look, the comparison of the two new tools. I love my new stamping and cut emb and embossing machine. I just love it. Um, I love the, the Big Shot, but this is so sleek and nice looking and can be stored. It doesn't take a lot of room, but yeah, so that's what, what's going on over there. Um, prepping, prepping, still working on a few things. So let me go back and get my my going this way and so you can see there's nothing yeah nothing that will be oh, gotta go quick yeah something but yeah let me just flip around so you don't see too much because i want to have people you know i want to surprise people uh for saturday so yes that's all so i wanted to say hello to everybody thank you for joining in uh, this is Monica Giberti. For those that will watch the video later on and don't know me, but this is Monica Giberti, and I am a Stamping Up demonstrator um, here in Stafford, Virginia. And I've been a Stamping Up demonstrator for 17 years, but I consider myself a five years old because before it was just for my main pleasure. You know, I wanted to just enjoy the beautiful products and stuff. And then five years ago, I started done um you know doing a little bit of a 
trying to create a business and share my classes and everything. So for my friends that are watching right now, if you don't mind helping me and sharing the video, commenting and liking the video will help me a great deal. And maybe you'll have more friends coming on that, um, so we don't keep this as a secret. We want everybody to know what the Stamping Up is and the beautiful things that you can create with Stamping Up. And the joy, the main joy for me to be a Stamping Up demonstrator is to get to meet wonderful, wonderful friends. And I don't know, um, they are, these ladies are just um great to be with to share and they're just lovely you know those are friends that um i would never met without stamping up so that's one of the main thing that keeps me going because i get to share and meet new people and great friends okay i'm done so now i'm gonna flip the camera and try to concentrate on what i need to do for you today uh stamping will be quick and easy but uh, still, I'm following one of the challenges that um, weekly challenges that my team is um, doing, and uh, I will show you what the challenge is. So one of one idea came from the challenge, and also I incorporated incorporated a uh, car sketch that I found find online, and so it helps a lot. Um, helps fo following sketches. It really helps a lot uh, creating stuff. And also, you know, I like to deviate and add stuff and whatever, but you know. But here you go. So now I'm going to switch and attach the phone. Hopefully I won't lose you, okay? Ding! Let's see. Yep. Okay, now you see my surface. And am I going to do the right thing here? I don't know. Because this is the new phone. It's a little tight okay what's going on what did i push ladies it says something can you see let me slide this phone what does it say i did something wrong in here hold on okay bring no cancel i don't want to bring anybody on the on the phone Okay, now you can see before you would see my my, my hand, hand and that's not what I wanted you to to see. Okay, so um, as you know, every week I do a drawing uh, of the projects that I share and how you get into the drawing is but commenting, okay? So for as many comments as you do make or whatever you get entered and so here we go and then um i use the what you might call it the random uh common picker something uh, it's on face it's a facebook feature so i use that and so this week the winners are pam and linda so if linda is watching linda knight if she's watching, you're a winner, and I still have the other cards, so I will mail everything at once. You know, I had a gut feeling that some of the people that won previously were bit winners. We're going to be win winning this time. So, hey, I saved a little bit of postage, and you get everything at once. Okay, so these are the cards, and this is what I created last week. And following the challenge from my team was to use vellum in uh, in whatever way we want it so the first card was just um dry embossing with the embossing folders and i just used a little bit of vellum and this one instead i heat embossed on vellum so that was it uh this week okay let me go on here let me just put the sticker here so i know who they are and here we go so um for those that are new, you know that I always do a little bit of a blabbering uh, ahead of time. Let me, oops, lady, sorry. I want to plug my phone in because I didn't finish charging it and I don't want it to be dying. Okay, even though it's new, I always forget to put it on. Okay, so 
how's this picture going working for you ladies is it a good picture hopefully yes so as i said stamping with monica this is a new host code so in if anybody is interested in placing an order with me uh during the month of the rest of september uh you are that will be appreciated and what you will get from me with a minimum of forty dollars you will get a free tutorial bundle right here for september so with a minimum of forty dollars you will receive that and then if your order goes above fifty dollars you will receive a gift from me in the mail that i will mail and i try to keep it a flat thing so it will be an embellishment and i think because of what we're working on today let me see let me pick because i haven't decided yet because i was i knew i wanted to do an embellishment but i just i had one in mind but i don't know if we'll be able to mail it so let me just go so yes so if your order will be over fifty dollars you will receive a pack of the iridescent oh whatever these pearls here iridescent pearls for free from me okay it's a hundred doll a hundred pieces of uh, pearls and i use them in the cards that i made last week and these are you can use them not only with this color but you know they're very versatile because they have hints of different colors and depending on which way you're turning it's a different color so that would be my offering from orders that go in with this host code over fifty dollars okay then something else that is going on and this is so much fun ladies I'm talking about what Stampin' Up! is doing. Um, you know, about Paper Pumpkin and the registration for the Paper Pumpkin that is getting to our mail mailing mailboxes. It was closed on September 10th. But if you're interested in trying out Paper Pumpkin for the, the next month, the one that is going to come out in October, you can subscribe or buy a pre- paid a subscription for one month three months or six months but you can just try it for one month and if you do that before between september 11th and 10th of october uh you will receive this box also stamping up has created a facebook group called joy to the world with the intention of sharing well, um bringing back pen pals okay so this is open to everybody to demonstrators and to customers of paper pumpkin so what they're trying to do is to um, be able to share the love of stamping and using the products in this in this kit because this will be a kit with cards so people can mail each other cards so if you like to do that even if it is just to send a card to somebody and receive one or two or whatever i suggest you to look for the joy to the world um facebook group and um sign up join the group uh, just for the fun and then read all the information about it but this is great so this is the kit and then if you want to get it or share it with other people, uh, you can do so. It is uh, very economical. It's just a $21 uh, one-time purchase or $22 a month because this could be also a monthly subscription. And then every month you receive a box and then you have the option of stopping or um, suspending for one month or whatever and or canceling but once you try it you'll be pleased because where's the box that i just opened this is the one that i just i got the other week the other day and this is the one that people have received this is for the september one no the september one i still have to receive it but this is the august one take it back so you receive 
an exclusive stamp set and an exclusive and then a uh, mini ink spot so these are in the uh color line that stampin up has and they're very easy to store and you when you're done creating the projects then you have the stamp set and the ink to create whatever other stuff you want and then if stampin up has that available then you can always buy a refill only but you can only do it if you're a subscriber uh, a monthly subscriber okay so the one that is coming it's hello pumpkin so this will cover you know halloween and fall themed event that kind of stuff okay so just a little bit to know i think this idea of a pen pal is really really nice so if you have the if you have the kit already if you're a subscriber go ahead and and join the group and you might find uh yes july you might find people all over the world because i just took a glance of the group people are just putting okay i would like to get a pen pal uh, i'm located in england i'm located in australia i would love to get somebody from the united states and you know vice versa so it, it would be interesting to do i might force myself to do it because you know uh but it's in um I have so many things that I want to do and but one the one one thing that I would like to do is this because these are Christmas card. These would be Christmas card joy to the world. And I think this is worldwide because steam uh, paper pumpkin it's not everywhere. So it is in the United States, Canada. And I think uh because of this they're trying to get it um a trial. So it's worldwide, okay? Just for this kit. Okay, now the other thing that's going on with Stampin' Up is the starter kit promotion called Get and Go. And uh, you've heard me saying this so many times. Um, this is a great deal every time. For only $99, you get to select $125 in product. Whatever you want to, whatever, whatever you would like to put into your starter kit. But it's a quote unquote a starter kit. So for example, if you already have a lot of things, but you're interested in a new die cutting and emboss machine, that is $120 by itself that you will be able to include in your starter kit. And so you can select $120 for the, the machine and add $5 of a supply and then pay only $99 plus tax because shipping is free. On top of that, you will receive two stamp sets and a pack of rice, rhinestone, and I did the math, it's an $87 extra on top of your already saving. Plus, you will receive eight uh, supplies for eight card kits each to create for each stamp set. Uh, so for a total of 16 card kits. So what do you have? You already have supplies cut and prepped for you that you can start stamping with your um, stamp set. And then if you're interested in doing a class, you already have it prepped, cut, done, and Stamping Up is giving you a PDF file. And obviously you will get me as a support or help, but that is great. I don't have the stamp set myself, but I received a, um, a swap and this is the Queensland Lace stamp set so it is a two stamp set where you two step stamping set where you have the outline um the main line and then you get to color with the stamp set okay and if i can find them you will find them in the main catalog and one way to find them is by going in the back of the catalog let's say queens and lace is on page 135 okay right here and this is the stamp set it has eight can you see eight stamps and it's a two-step stamping so you will stamp this and then you will use this to stamp the colors and a bunch of sentiments for any occasion and every occasion okay that's the one and then the other one is so much love and go back again to our index and let's go find it so much love it's on page 53 at the beginning of the catalog 
Okay. 51, 2, and 3. And this is the other one. And this is for people that love to color. This is a nice coloring. So that one is quick and easy. Stamp and color while stamping. This one, you just stamp the outline and go ahead and color. You can even heat emboss it. I mean, it depends if you're a beginner, um, middle of the way stamper, or an avid stamper. So the avid stamper is the one that applies techniques and has die cutting machine, that kind of stuff. So this, it could be a beginner, intermediate, and advanced or avid, okay? So these are the two stamp sets that you could get for free. So share this. If you're one of my team members, um, share this with your friends because this is just a great deal. And this goes until the end of September. So um, I think it's worth it. Okay. The other thing that I wanted to talk to you about, and it's one thing that I will do. Um, in October, we're going to have world card making day and if i'm not wrong it's on october 3rd 3rd or 4th i don't remember but stay tuned because i will do i will create a group and if you're interested you'll be invited and i will put the description here so you once i create the group and that will be a one day a whole day of stamping and sharing it will be done by me but some of my team members, so it'll be fun. So we'll be sharing a lot of stamping, a lot of uh, samples and tutorials for you and, and, and more, so stay tuned, okay? So that's all that I needed to tell you. And today we are working with this design series paper uh, because the challenge that uh, one, the, that was Tina, she won, so Tina will, she launched the challenge and it was to create black and white cards with an accent of color, okay? So because this designer series paper, I'm in love with this designer series paper and you know already because I used it already last week, but I wanted to show you how you can use it with other things. So, Okay, my projects are, oh, before I start, do you remember what this is, right? This is the stamp set that will be drawn at the end of the month. Um, a winner will get this one, um, and I will check all the sharing that you have done during the month, and you'll be entered in the drawing for this stamp set, the festive corners. I think it's nice because it covers everything. Yeah, vertical stamping. Then you can do it in the corner. You can put it in an envelope. Yeah, it's so much fun. There you go. Okay, done. My blabbering is done. So my two cards, um, as I said, I'm using this designer series paper and I already showed you the one. So there's a lot of black and white on one side, but also black and white and color on the other side. I love this. I told you I showed you last week. And then we have another one. This one. I used them all. No, this one is the other one. Yes. Okay. So these are the, this is the Zanish series paper. And the projects that I created were these. And they're simple, simple, and easy. This is the one simple also following the uh, sketch um, if you like to check it's on facebook it's called casing tuesday and another group is um casing the catalog so basically they pick a page of the catalog a specific stamp um, card and they give up the measurements and the layout and that's what i do so this is the one, and to me, the accent was just by adding bling, okay? And I don't think this is a scary Halloween card, right? And then the other one is this, using two different designer series paper, this one and this one, and I just put a little bit of um, accent in there. When I looked at it when I was done, I said, oh, I could have had a little bit of bling, a little bit of there and there. But then I said, no, better not. 
Because one thing that my husband told me, because I'm prepping all the stuff for um, the retreat, is that, Monica, you need to learn how to pencil down. I don't know. Basically, just put the pencil down. Whatever is done is done. Stop adding. Because I, I look at something and said, oh, but I need to add this and this and that. So he said, oh, stop. So, yeah. Since he's the one helping um, in between, I have, um, he's helping cutting stuff and so on. And so, yeah, poor guy. Tonight has more, he has a more duty, more cutting duty. Okay, let me start with this one. Simple, simple and easy. As you can see, one stamping, that's all. So, this supplies are a half of a sheet cut the long way so it is four and a fourth by 11 scored at five and a half fold and you know i try to keep it simple like so this is my card base then i took a piece of whisper white car stock then it is the regular four by five and a fourth and then the designer series paper that is color one side and that that is three and three fourth by five and that's how it goes then i have a piece of uh, black glitter paper and i love this because it doesn't shred or leave um anything because the one that we had in the past with just sprinkle glitter all over this one no and i love the fact that it's black in the back in the back there and then a piece of whisper white this is one of the strips that i get whenever i cut supplies for my cards and so i got this one that's it and then i have this ribbon the metallic mesh ribbon that goes with the suite that i showed you and i think it's just lovely hey to me it makes it so elegant i don't know makes it so elegant and so there you go look at that okay huh this one today is gonna be simple and easy I'm going to stamp but the first thing that I'm gonna do this time um, as you notice the edges of the glitter paper and the white are kind of a different and they come from this stamp this punch Ask me the name of it. I don't remember. Okay. I think it's the... I can find it right away. because It's at the beginning of this... The mini catalog. Holiday catalog. And... No. It's not in here. It's in the main catalog. I will give the name at the end. Oh. Easy peasy. Let's go find it in the back. Because there's a list of all the punches. And the punch is called... Lovely You. Duh. I used this one, um, this one uh, in one of my uh, coffee and cards classes. Okay, so what did I do? I took, and I'm going to do for both of them. So I measured it. This is one inch, and this is a three-fourth. Because you can do from one inch, three-fourth, and one. So you can cut. And then, depending on the, on the width of your paper, you get different edges okay same on this one i don't know if you can see let me see because i don't want you to have the shade whatever so you put it in you push it all the way in and i'm gonna do it this way yeah it goes better so this is one inch put it all in if you want to check if it is there and punch and then i'm gonna do the same put it in Okay, making sure, kind of semi-centered, and there you go. So you get the two, I don't know if you can see them. So this is one kind of an edge. So this covers all the edges there, the trim. Now this is a three-fourth, and I'm going to put it in, okay, making sure that it's centered, and I like to do it in the back. Even though the paper, there's a guide, but I like to do it no matter what and then you put it in okay come on Monica should not be that complicated it is not there you go so now I have different edges okay and what I'm gonna do I am going to stamp 
And I'm taking my Happy Halloween. I love how elegant the font is. To me, it's very elegant. Okay, and I'm taking my Memento. That's my favorite black ink that I use. I use my grip paper. And I'm going to go on my tippy toes, trying to stamp somewhat straight. And if not, there's more paper, right? Oh, look at that. There we go. Not too bad. And now it's just a matter of layering things. So because this has glitter, the regular um, tape will not hold it. So what am I going to use? my beloved dimensionals that actually today i'm using black dimensionals you know right that we have black dimensionals and we have a pack that has it's a combo pack that has regular size dimensionals and many dimensionals all at once in black so you get three sheets of each i think it is no two sheets of each I think but yeah so and I like the fact that I'm working with black so when I use this and if you look at the card sideways you will not see it okay and then there so that's what we're gonna do put this one on so I guess I'm covered I already have not one but two cards for my team challenge that is easy peasy for me. Okay, so let me just start laying this card down here. And I'm going to put it on. Oh, I, I did straight on that one. And I'm finishing. I want to finish using my snail adhesive. The old one. As I said, I have. I stock up. But now I need to use it. So this one is going to go down straight. Then I'll take my design series paper that is somewhere over the rainbow. Really? Where's my design series? Oh, right here. And then I'm covering and I'm putting in this one. But before I do so, oh shoot, I forgot something. Oh no, good. I did not. I did not. So this one is going to go like so. Okay. Then look, this can go like so, but look at the difference with this thing in there oh i just love this ribbon i just love it love it good morning denise okay so i'm chopping it off and i'm going to lay it down like so and i'm taking black dimensionals and i am putting here in the back and you know that you have you have to use all the dimensionals in your sheet right not only the the ones that are perfectly cut but they stick all the same right so why throw them away so i love the fact that working with black we have black dimensionals and now i don't need to put any glue to uh hold on to that and i don't want to set straight in the middle i just want to side to the side a bit so while i'm sticking this one to the bottom, I'm securing this one. And the card, ladies, is done. And I'm taking my embellishment to give a little bit of a splash of color. And this is the Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. They're only $6 for this many and many and options because you can use them for each different. Okay, let's open it up right here for different. You can use it when you, you know, look how many do you have. Blue. This is Pool Party. Garden Green. Rio Red or Cherry Cobbler can go either way. This is Crush Curry or it can even go for Bumblebee or um, Daffodil Delight. So, the use of it, you, you can use them for many many creations so this one oh by the way this is done i wanted to show you how this is replaced okay this is 
and this is the first one so this is you pick tool okay it comes like this and it comes with one of these already but you can buy a refill and the refill is exactly like so and you put it in you screw it in let's see it's new oh there you go and then you push a bit and then the putty is starting to come out so let's see if now it's better yes look at that way better because this one was dead and dry and then i did three of these see how easy it is to pick them up easy pick them up and stick them down and i should get the stuff in front of me so i can see better um and then I love this you pick tool by the way if you guys are one of the lucky ones that are part of the um, what you may call it at the retreat I will have door prizes and also I will have a ton of door prizes and also raffle prizes but this year we're gonna do something different and so stay tuned so there you go this is the card, and this is the embellishment and everything. What do you think? Oh, let me trim here because when I put it inside the envelope, when you guys, whoever's going to win it and mail this, because you got to mail this, considering that this year we will not have trick-or-treaters, but you want to bright somebody, right? This is not too scary. To me, it is elegant. I don't know if you think the same way, but I really like my the card. Okay, let me put this away actually can be thrown away so card number one is done and then card number two um the idea came from the designer series paper that i wanted to use and so this is still part of the uh, pack of magic in this night designer series paper and this time i wanted to use the large flowers and i knew we had a stamp set that kind of matched the design of the flower and it is the beautiful friendship i love this stamp set love it love it okay so i used it in the past and can be you know does um birthdays congratulations uh, friendship either way so beautiful it does stamp um and this is um, does stamp really really nice. Okay, so we're going back. This time I cut the paper the other way, and so I have an eight and a half by five and a half. So it's cut in half the other way. The one before I cut it this way, the long way, and this is the short way. And then I scored it at four and a fourth in the middle. Nothing fancy about it. By the way, if you're part of the retreat, well, they will not be as simple. But, you know, you'll have time to put them together. Okay, then I have a layer of this card. Let me see. I'm going to show you the final one before I go on. Okay, so I have my fourth of a sheet. Actually, this is five, uh, four by five and a fourth. Okay. It goes down and I put it crooked and I can just put this one down because I didn't have to do anything about it. Told you this is simple and easy. Very unusual for me. Ladies, it was hard to keep it simple. But you know, not everybody likes to do complicated things. And then I am going to glue this and this is my hint of color. And the other side has the bat. So if you want to do a Halloween, you can do that. But I wanted to do like an elegant kind of card for a birthday. And so this is simple and easy. And what I did, I cut the paper down to a fourth on the side, okay? So that's how it goes. This is my splash of color. Before I do anything, this time I could have used this uh, ribbon again. I could have used this one and went around and tie a bow because it does cut and tie a bow very nicely. But I had some of this ribbon that I wanted to finish. 
And this is the white polka dot, and I think is elegant and um, I don't know. I just liked it. So, and you know that you can color any of our ribbons that are white using the blends. You can color them, and because the blends have a permanent, they're permanent. So you make you can make uh, any of the our white ribbon to whatever color you'd like. Okay, so in this case, I wanted to keep it white, and then here a line in the back, and voila, down and down. This is done. So I can put this one on, and it would be straight like so. I did not want to cook it there. So today, my stamping will be pretty simple and easy, quick, I hope and simple okay it's to show you that you can create beautiful things and remind myself <laughs> that you can create beautiful things and keep it simple because you know it's not me okay so this is the base done then I took um, a piece of designer series paper that I used last week if you remember this is the size that I, side that I used for my Happy Halloween. Now I'm going to go with the stripe. And this will go up here. Okay. But before I do so, let me stamp my sentiment. And um, if you don't have these, ladies, these dies, put it on your list. Because the stitched so sweetly dies are the bomb. There's a larger rectangle size here that it's on the other room because I need to cut stuff for the retreat. But you have one, two, three, four, five, six sizes, plus you have different shapes. One, two, three, four of these. So I used this one to cut the main, and then I used this one to cut that part. Okay, and I did it ahead of time for you. And these are, ooh, I love them because this is scalloped and I love them because they're stitched. Yes. So let me put it away and let me take my memento and then take the stamps that I'm using. And I decided to do birthdays are the best days right here. And then this is the flower. I could have used these, okay, because as you can see, they're very similar to the paper and even the leaves you know they remind so this stamp will go nicely with the designer series paper and not make it so scary and halloweeny okay where's the stamp right here they're already mounted and i'm gonna take my birthday are the best days and I'm taking it right here because I need to see what I'm doing and I'm gonna line this line here with the grit paper so I know that I will be somewhat straight. Maybe. You should see me. I'm on my tippy toes stamping. Okay, not too bad. And now I'm taking the rose image and I'm going to stamp it off a lot and just put a little bit there because I want it to be I thought about doing this part in um, magenta madness because that's the accent color that I use, but it was going to be too much. And I, since the the challenge was to just have a hint of color, and that's what I did. Okay, voila. So I did that. But to get more of a color, let me grab my chamois. Where did I put my chamois? Oh, hold on, ladies. Well, I'm going to clean my thing because I can't find my chamois. You know what? I took it in the bathroom to wash it, and I did not do it. So I'm washing, cleaning the old way with my stamping scrub that needs a bath. Okay, now I'm going to ink it in Magenta Madness, and I'm taking a strip one of the many strips of paper that I have, and I'm just gonna stamp with me are the best are okay, and then 
I'm taking my scissors and I'm going to just trim the rest. I could have just, um, you know, use a marker and color the stamp itself using the marker, but, you know, you can do it this way too. Voila! And now I'm taking, let's see if I have a small edge of this, black ones. Oh no, I don't want the black ones because I don't want to see them. So I'm taking mini dimensionals in white. And um, look, the size is perfect. Can you see? And voila. Rita, you're bad. Just hold on. <laughs> oh my golly, Rita. By the way, congratulations, Rita. You know what I'm talking about. And um, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Okay. That's the accent over there, ladies. And now I can use my black behind this because I'm sticking it on something that is black and it will now show. What do you think about this card? It's very different from <laughs> what I'm using. And yet again, I'm using the grit paper to know to position that. It's great. Having this grid paper is the bomb. Voila, ladies. Done. And then I'm going to take this and put it down. And using more of my black dimensionals. This time I'm putting it one here and one there. Because when I have a ribbon that goes across, I like to secure the top and the bottom. This one, that's okay, balances up. I'm not uh, one of those that uses a lot of dimensionals because I think they do the, the work with just a few of them. What do you think? Now it can be okay, but we're going to add some of the embellishment. And one, I should have done this before, but that's okay. One would be tying a bow, simple and easy with this one. You know, I do it this way this way and voila it ties beautifully i love this polka dot of ribbon right here what do you think ladies and i'm using old and retired scissors but they're still good um and trim on this side and voila and now the only thing that i'm left to do is what Add some kind of embellishment. And this time, because we went with the magenta madness, I am going with the coordinating in color enamel dots. And what I will do is grab my magenta. See, I've used these quite a bit. There, take my U pick tool. See, when it's new, you don't have to push. So the older, the more you use, the more you have to twist. So it's going to go down. So let's see if I'm able to pick this one up. Yes. So one will be going there. Look. This is the bomb. This tool is the bomb for only $10. And then I'm adding this one right there. Okay. My cards are done, ladies. Let me clean this. What do you all think? Did I cover the challenge requirements where's the other card or not and look how different the same paper just use a different pattern look at what you can achieve i think this year this paper has has been the best i mean i love because it's not only halloween that's that's what i love about it that you can use it in different ways so there we go Okay, these are the cards. One at the top, one at the bottom. I will take um, still pictures and post it later. But these are the cards. And let's see who the lucky winners will be. Remember, the more you share, 
the more chances you have and share the video the more chances you have to win this festive corner stamp set from me it is a photopolymer stamp set ladies look it goes for all the different occasions because you have mary and then you have halloween you have this is yes it is um valentine's could be but also any day that you want to send somebody uh, a love you lots you know um and most wonderful time of the year can be yes christmas but it can be any time and then you can have this one happy halloween trick-or-treat the little scary thing but also that so that's for sharing and these ladies are for commenting okay and i will pick a winner few minutes before next week's video that's what i i always do it the 10 minutes or 15 minutes before so if you're watching live you know what to do if you're watching the replay you can also watch the replay and share and i really really appreciate your help with sharing and um that is all that i have for you today unless you have questions and i will go through the comments but um i just wanted to remind you of everything that is going on and just put it on your calendar and share with your friends october 3rd or the 4th whatever is going to be i'm going to post it right here the date and the link to the group so you can join and it will be a day of fun and stamping and sharing and all kind of stuff okay ladies and i appreciate you spending whatever time it was about an hour with me and watching and i will see some of you saturday oh my golly it's coming up quick okay ladies thank you have a great day bye bye